Um, my first step here is going to extend this back out to 800 by 400 exactly. And actually, I'm going to make my job easier and just enter 400. Um, if you're using the Paint 3D program, there will be an option to lock aspect ratio. If you're going to type in the pixels yourself, then uncheck that box and then it will allow you to enter whatever values you want. Okay, so now I'm back to 800 by 400 pixels. Um, now I am just going to start making some changes here. Um, adding a background color and text is pretty easy. And I want to make sure that I'm going to have um, quite a few different blocks of text. So I'm going to copy actually some of your email so I have some filler text here. just randomly adding pieces of text. Okay, so uh, the only thing I'm trying to keep in mind is that I'm going to leave uh, this area down here blank. Um, you can always double check that you have enough space by coming back over here and just resizing this um, and seeing how much space you actually have until things start to get cut off. My text is sitting up at 295 pixels when this whole thing is uh, 400 pixels. So um, remember the title um, starts to cut off at about 70 pixels up, so at about um, 330, 320, uh, we'll start to see um, that the title bar will cover items if you have them about there. So it looks like my text should be fine. It should fit above. I want to now add a couple of, um, let's see if I can add some stickers. Um, I think this is the same thing as inserting an image. So if I wanted to add our logo, then I think I would go through that of adding the sticker. Um, let's add our Milo logo. All right, and just for, whoops, not the best, but just to make it uh, look a little bit better there. Okay. So I'm going to save this and see what it looks like in my slideshow. All right. So now let's pop on over here. I'm going to masquerade as my demo. So um, I I close up Paint 3D program, but we did have it. Uh, the image was always set to 800 by 400, um, and then I just started editing directly in that uh, size of the image. It's a little bit easier, um, just more straightforward. But you definitely can work with a larger um, image. Uh, downsizing it to 800 by 400 will let you know how much of the image may be covered or um, how it may look in the true dimensions it will be displayed in. So let's throw that image into a slideshow item. Now I'm 
I'm having a hard time locating this. Oh, it, okay. Untitled slideshow example. Just to get this quickly in the media library. And I'll leave the rest of the items blank. I'm going to um, have just the title as yours uh, does on your site. I'm gonna publish this and make it sticky so we see it first. Okay, from here, it looks good. Let's see what it looks like on the front page. Okay, so um, that is an example of how to do this on Paint 3D. Um, paint may be another uh, easy way to do this pretty pretty much same process. It may, the paint program, um, as opposed to Paint 3D, may not have the canvas resizing tools um, as easy as the Paint 3D does, but um, that is one way. 